situation. Now, you'll remember this, a squatter standoff captured on camera. For the first time, we're hearing from the homeowner at the center of it all. Since the state laws have now been changed and the man who was inside her home was criminally charged, Mike. Hey, investigative reporter Dan Krauts joins us now. Dan, you and I have been talking so much about this, and now uh, we get to hear from the woman inside that home with you. Yeah, and a pretty big update. We all remember Adele, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was involved with the standoff. Yes. Well, prosecutors charged the accused squatter in her home and ordered him not to go anywhere near it. So you think the problem's over, right? She still has strangers living there. She says it's a complicated oh. situation, and she's waiting to see how this new law is applied to determine what to do next. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, in for, being in my, for being in my own home. The video of her arrest has been seen around the world. Never knowing it was going to get to that extreme, but if it took that to get to here, I'm okay with that. When we showed up to interview Adele Andaloro outside her Flushing Queens home back in March, we did not expect the accused squatters to show up or that she'd be put in handcuffs for changing the locks. The charges were later dropped, and the Queen's DA then arrested and charged the man accused of squatting in her home. I've just gotten so many phone calls, so many emails, people letting me know that, people thanking me for putting it out there and letting the people know that this is happening every day and to what extreme it can actually get. But even though prosecutors charged the man and ordered him not to return to the home, they say he rented out rooms to other people. And Andaloro says they're still there. The sooner I can get these people out, the better. The bill is passed. Since her arrest, lawmakers changed state law, giving police more authority to remove squatters who don't have a legal right to be there instead of taking them to housing court. I'm really proud that we could deliver for people like her and many others. I'm over the moon about the change in the law. But it's unclear what will happen yet in her case. The new law defines a squatter as someone who doesn't have title, right, or permission of the owner to be there. It's unclear if that includes people renting out rooms from an accused squatter. So now I'm kind of just waiting it out for a couple of days before I take any action to see if there's anything I can do that maybe will shorten the length of the process for me now that the law has changed. Mm. The accused squatter who was charged says he's innocent, claims he signed out what he claims turned out to be a bogus lease with an unnamed real estate broker. He will be back in court next month. We'll track that and we'll also, of course, track to see what happens to Adele. This is so unique and it sounds like another gray area that has emerged from this. You know, the person who signed the lease from the person who was acting as the homeowner but wasn't actually the homeowner. It is. I have a feeling this will be taken care of fairly soon. Adele's afraid to go back to the home. Yeah. So yeah. she hasn't seen for herself because we saw what happened last. Time. Oh yeah. So we'll keep you posted. And I have to thank the viewers. I wake up every day to at least a dozen emails from people saying they're in a similar situation. Mm. Oh. In fact, I walked into a building yesterday and a security worker told me his family has been dealing with a squatter situation, three squatters oh. for about 11 months. No. And once the news broke last week that that squatter was criminally charged, they disappeared and they haven't come back. Wow. That's Literally, that was I mean, one that, of the for them. best things I could hear and made my day. Wow. No. So. Congratulations. I know it's been a lot of hard work and more work to do. By the way, yeah. to see all the reports that you've done, ABC7 and Y. Dan, thank you. Thank you for having me.